Okay, so for the homework, what what's the important part about the homework is is to establish the the level, the thickness, all the way around evenly, all the way back to where the uh, marks are. So the idea is to transfer the outline of the uh, head down to that level. So they should be straight up and down cuts. Notice that these are straight up and down cuts all the way along here to that constant level all the way. Make sure you get that constant level all the way. The reason for that is that we can now shape the, start to shape the, the head. So now what I suggest you do, once you've got, and it's important to get all these little edges in here. Like in this particular case we've got the scarf that's going to come around here. So it's important to get uh, the little notches in here and so that they're transferred all the way down to the back as well. The crook in the head where the hair state takes off, that's important to get that transferred all the way down. So all the way around, both sides. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a, we've got to be able to figure out where the high and the low parts are going to be on the, the head itself. So in this particular guy, the head, the forehead has to disappear somewhat underneath the hair. So we're going to remove some of the material on this side of the line. Just do a little bit, a little bit of, with a V-tool. Likewise, going around the ear, you're going to remove a little bit of the material around the outside of the ear. The jaw, the jaw sits proud of the neck, so you're going to remove a little bit of the material. And we'll just use a V-tool on a flat. Likewise with the smile line, see the smile line coming down here, the cheeks have to stay a bit above, so we've got to remove a little bit of the material down here. The nose, the same thing. We've got to remove a little bit of the material around the outside. So this gives you an opportunity to uh, use your V-tool to identify the various levels as we go by. So I just take a, a, a V-tool and I'm going to lay it on its flat, uh, the flat side so I keep the, the straight up and down outline and I'll do the ear just to give you a demo. So I'm going to come in with the V-tool and I don't know whether you can see that very well or not. There. So you can see that I've just removed a bit of the, the material from behind the ear so that makes it sit proud. We don't want to remove all the material because back here we have to shape the hair. Right? So we're just going to outline and decide on which side we're going to keep proud so that I take off the other side. So I'll stop there and I'll do a, a bit of that and then uh, show you how it went. Okay, so there it is outlined and you can see where I've turned the V-tool on the, on the flat so that I create this sharp edge all the way around the outside of the ear and then I turn it over on the other side to make the transition for the forehead to eventually go back up and underneath. Likewise, the smile line and the bottom side of the nose. So now we have to start giving it a bit of shape. And whether you're carving this or you're carving any kind of a, a head, the, the nose anchors the face. So I always start with the nose. In this case, it's going to be a nose that sits out really a long ways. For those doing a the bird, uh, the hawk head, or eagle head, whatever it is, uh, the beak, it go, drops back down. For those that are doing the woman's face, then it's a smaller nose, so therefore it drops down. Whereas this guy here, it's going to be a gigantic nose, so I'm going to be making it stand up proud. It's going to be standing up really proud. So I'm just going to work on the, the front area of the nose. I'm going to work on this area in here. I'm going to start to shape it and somewhat up and around the top but 
the area where the eye is going to sit is something that we're going to address later on. So we just work on the end of the nose. So whether it's a bird, a, a woman's face, or one of these uh, caricature heads, just work on the nose to start with. Get the nose started. So I'll use a big gouge and just start shaping that round. So there's the the nose rounded. Start to round underneath the, the nose a little bit and a little bit on the top. So I've got half of it done compared to a flat surface like that is. There it is rounded. So I'll do the other side. Okay, so we've got the the nose rounded, somewhat defined on both sides, and I've started to round the mouth mound just a little bit underneath the nose on both sides. Now I'm going to work more on rounding that around up to the cheek. Uh, in this particular case I've got to try and remember where the teeth are going to be here. So I'm going to do them first. Excuse me. I'm going to round them first. So I'll just take a, a V tool to establish the edge so that I can get that roundness coming around and uh, make that work first, and then I'll work up underneath the nose after that. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll use a V tool first and round this all around here. So on, on this guy here, you can see I've established the dental mound coming all the way around and that established once that's established now I can round over the lip on the top half and underneath the nose I can get that shape coming so I'll do that next and then I'll pass it around so there it is with the upper lip cut in I still got lots of sharp edges there so it's just roughed in at this point in time but I've given them really buck teeth and uh, eventually I'll cut in the slots for them. We've got to do the bottom ones eventually as well but that'll kind of give you an idea where the where to go with this. Just get, get it roughed in. Okay so can you see here that I've, um, I've got the a little bit of material removed so that I make the mouth mound inside the head mound and the dental mount inside that again. I've done the bottom teeth so that they're inside that. I haven't touched the bottom lip yet, but I've got the top lip working underneath the nose. So I got both sides done. So work your way down. and So uh, we'll leave it for the, at that for now, and then next week we'll come back and we'll work our way down a little bit. We'll establish a, a bottom lip and a chin. And then we got to get up and the tricky part is going to be the the uh, the nose where the bridge of the nose is going to be so we can set the eyes but that that's uh, a couple of weeks away okay is the eye going to bulge